Okay, so we need five pounds. Let's go ahead and press the pump. Hello everyone, thanks for watching the video. Today we're going to be looking at a multi-purpose air pump made by Techgen or Techgen, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. SOS warning light comes with this. I believe that's on the side over here. But it is small, pretty compact. Operates from a cigarette lighter or it also has a plug-in, AC plug-in to charge it. Uh, 6000 AAH, I believe that's milliamp hour uh, and that should be my understanding 6,000 should be like a day and a half two days of moderate use so let's go ahead and take it out of the box and get it charging now, this is my first time as well looking at this I did look at it a little bit earlier but uh, I haven't uh, haven't done anything with it yet uh, now this is a very nice case it's a hard shell case harder than um, some of the other cases that I've seen can push it down but it's pretty hard to do all right okay here's our uh, cords hose till we plug into the um, pump Very nice. Very nice looking. Flexible hose. It's rubber. Um, it's got a kind of a vinyl coating over the rubber here. Port plugs. It's like a, I'm not sure if that's a C port, but it's USB. Instructions. Cigarette lighter cord it looks to be really long, uh, which you, you would need if you're going to pump up a tire. Uh, I'll try to get a measurement on that later. We've got a bunch of cards here from the company. Uh, this would be for uh, using for like a football, basketball. Got a fuse here. Okay, other little adapters for pumping, um, I don't know, maybe a uh, float or something, raft maybe. Same with this, they kind of fill off to the side. And here's our pump, held in by the little flex straps that you cannot remove, so you have to kind of pull it through. Let me give you a weight of this. And the weight is one pound, almost four ounces. Approximately six and a half inches by four inches by two inches. So I want to go ahead and get this charging because I think it's going to take hours to do. So uh, what we do is we take our plug here. We will be plugging it in here. Okay, I'll try to take the twist ties off. I'll plug this into my cube and we will plug that into the wall get it charging and then we'll come back later and uh, get some more details on this find out how it works and we'll try it out all right just plugged it up our cord here is approximately i don't know 18 inches um, now i don't think it's two foot it's probably 18 inches or so um yeah we've got the uh the blinking light here showing our uh our charging so um, i'm going to come back hours later and we'll take a look and see uh, you know see what it looks like when it's charged here's our pump five hours later you can see that the indicator light is no longer blinking so at this point we should have a full charge so our pump is charged and we're going to be trying it out for the first time there are a lot of instructions a lot of stuff that uh, the pump can do has a flashlight or utility light on the side. There's a light on the top. Five buttons here. A lot of instructions that tell you what to do with those buttons. To turn on the pump, press the center one. 
and hold it for about three seconds. Turn it off, same thing. Okay, all right, let's try the uh, flashlight. So we need to turn it back on. This top button, let's hold it for about two or three, two seconds, I guess. Same thing to turn it off. We have a uh, light up here. For that light, hold it. The light will come on. I'm going to hold it now. Click it twice. It'll be flashing. I'm sorry, that is the side that flashes. Click it twice. Click it twice again. It should turn that off. Uh, let's hold it again and see if that flashes. Oh, it turns it off. Holding it. Okay, press it once. Press it twice, you're going to get the side. Press it once, you're going to get the flashing. Hold it, you should turn it off. Let's take a look at the pump. Um, so, as you know, we already turned it on by holding this center button three uh, seconds. And to turn it off, we'll hold it again for three seconds without letting it up. To turn the pump on or inflator, we just press it once. It's going to be really loud. So, uh, check it out. All right, let me show you uh, the modes. We have uh, automobile, the top one here. Yeah, we can move that to motorcycle and that's set at the default 34 pounds 30 pounds for a bicycle a ball is eight pounds so we go back up to the car and that's set it for 36 pounds okay we have units over here we have uh, you can see psi that's pounds if we want to change that press the bottom button one time we've got the bar unit, KPA, and then a final unit, fourth one. Let's go back up to PSI. All right, if we want to change uh, how much pounds, uh, what we do is there's a chart here. So you can change it from uh, 5 to 87 pounds, motorcycle 26 to 44. 5 to 150 for a bicycle, 4 to 16 for a ball. And to do that, let's just start at a car. We're at the car. If we press up, see it continues to go. I'm holding it. And to go down, press the minus. Let's go back to uh, 36. Uh, 35 that's good let's go to let's go to 32 here we are now outside let's go ahead and turn our pump on I want to check we're at uh, car and I want to check the air pressure in this tire we're at PSI let's uh, put the hose on all right so uh, when I put it on the valve, stem here, we should show how much air pressure we have. Okay, locked in place. All right, there we go. 27 pounds so we are set for what was that we were set for 36 pounds Let's see. it's 
set for 36. Let's bring it down. To 32. Yes, yeah, so uh, when you walk away and this turns off, it's going to go back to 36 pounds because that's the, the default setting. Uh, so we are set for 32. All right. We need five pounds. Okay, so we need five pounds. Let's go ahead and press the pump. Alright, so it turns itself off when it gets to 32 uh, pounds. Now, if this runs more than 15 minutes, it will automatically turn itself off to cool itself off. Okay, so uh, yeah, that didn't take too long to do. Okay, a couple things I wanted to point out. The inflator, or the pump, um, I just put 11 pounds into that passenger tire. Uh, after doing that, I felt it, and it wasn't, I just want to say it wasn't hot, it wasn't even really warm. So, uh, yeah, 11 pounds. I think it took approximately, I don't know, under three minutes, I believe. What I wanted to say was, uh, see how I set this down? Probably not a good thing if you can kind of hold it up, because there are air holes on the back, uh, and on the top, and bottom. So, uh, probably... If you can do it, just hold it like this. But I do want to point out it was not hot, and that was 11 pounds. Uh, if it does get hot, like I said earlier, it will shut itself off, usually around 15 minutes if it's uh, in continuous use. Uh, I just measured this. This cord is for the cigarette lighter, and I uh, just measured it at 10 foot, approximately 10 feet. Um, now we are still holding a charge, but I want to show you um, how you would use this if you didn't have any charge in the pump and you wanted to use your cigarette lighter. Maybe it's an emergency, you know, and of course it's not going to be charged during that more than likely. So uh, let's go to the car. Now we're inside the car. Uh, just plug the cigarette, other end of the cigarette lighter into the bottom. And then uh, I've got the switch in the on position. Now, if you're going to use this to pump up tires, or if you're going to use it for any long period of time, you need to start the car. Um, I just want to make sure that it's going to come on, so I've just got the key in the on position. We're going to put the cigarette lighter in. Okay, you can see, so I could probably use the pump now, but again, you know, if you're going to be pumping a tire, you will uh, need to start the car. So, uh, it's not really going to... Uh, do a whole lot of good for me to pump a tire up because I still have uh, this charged but uh, the cord is long enough to reach let's go to the farthest tire and we'll see how how it manages as far as cord length goes uh, you know you could probably if you needed to you could probably roll the back window down and go out that way but uh, most people might not want to do that So yeah, um, and all people would have to uh, go out that window because we can't reach over to the far side. We can get these two tires, um, you know, we got to use the windows or, or open the doors to get to those two over there. So I guess that's going to be it today for the TechGen Multipurpose Air Pump. Uh, if you have the manual, make sure to try to save it because there's so many things that the pump is uh, capable of doing. Um, hopefully you got the idea by pumping up the car tires today. I may make another video at a later time pumping up uh, bicycles, balls, maybe uh, lawnmower tires and that kind of thing. Uh, there is one thing I wanted to also point out about the uh, pump. You can use this as a power bank to charge your phone, in this case an iPhone. 
uh, just make sure that you have your lightning cable for that and you can plug that in to, these, uh, to the USB port here at the top but you do have to have the pump turned on so uh, let's turn it on okay and we're charging I guess that's going to be it today thank you for watching the video until next time have a nice day take care